Hello everyone, I'm Tara from the Farmington Library, and today I will demo a leaf prints maker activity. For this activity, you will require some paper, and I have some artist grade watercolor paper right here, a thin felt tipped pen, paint, a brush, leaves, and some paper towels. I've included a fern, a plastic fern in your kit, which you can use. However, I think that if you use real leaves, your print will turn out better because you will be able to see the veins of the leaves, which the plastic fern is missing. So I have here a hydrangea leaf, which I'm going to use during this demo. But I also wanted to show you a sample or an example right here. This is where I use the plastic fern to make a print. And this is what it looks like. So the first thing I'm going to do is think of the layout of my of the leaves on my paper. So I have three pieces of paper and so you just need one leaf. You can use um, several if you like, but I'm going to think about the layout. So on my first piece of paper, I'll probably do just one print, like so, right in the middle. On my second piece of paper, I'll probably do two prints, one, the leaf here once, here the second time. And on my third piece of paper, I'll probably have, have three prints. So one here, second one here, and third here. Now if you're using the fern, you can think of how to lay out your leaf with the fern, or, or lay out your fern. So I have the fern right here. Uh, I cut off the bottom part of the fern right here so that it would fit better onto the paper. On this piece, I'll, I would probably do two fern prints, one here, and then one on the bottom, closer to the, closer to the bottom of the paper. And I would probably do, or the third piece would probably look something like this. I'd have the fern right at the bottom. But your layout will depend on your aesthetic and also the size and the shape of the leaves that you choose. So I'm going to start with my first piece of paper and I'm just going to, I've, so this is acrylic paint and I've added some water to it and it should be quite wet when you're ready to make a print of the leaf. So I'm just adding some paint to the bottom of the leaf, the underside of the leaf. And I like how wet the paint is. You can see. And I'm just gonna get a paper towel. I'm actually gonna try and get the stem as well. I'll flip the leaf over and just very carefully put it on the paper. Oops. Moved it. We'll see how it comes out. I'm just pressing the leaf onto the paper. I think I probably got too much paint on there. I moved it. Okay. 
going to take the leaf off. I'm going to let that dry and work on my second piece. This time I'm going to add a little more paint and have and have it be a little less less diluted with water and I'll see how that turns out. And just gently and carefully press the leaf. Like that. We'll do a second one here. So I'm using less water this time, more of the paint. That also turned out nicely. So I think if you use less water and more paint, um, it'll be a bit nicer. And then my third piece.
And now for my last print. There you go. So I'm, I've left my prints to dry and I have all three of my prints here. So next what I'm going to do is take a felt tip pen with a sharpie right here, a, a fine tipped, fine felt tipped pen, and I'm going to draw an outline of the leaf just like I did in this example. So I know that my leaf has serrated edges. So even if the edge isn't well defined on my print, I'm going to define the edge using my pen. I'm just adding the serrated edges with my pen. And if you don't like this green, you can use a different acrylic paint. Um, you can also use ink if you prefer. So I am finished with my leaf prints and I am quite happy with them. And at this point, you can put these prints in frames and have a little grouping on the wall uh, if you like how your project turned out. And I hope everyone had fun making this.